Did you hear our big news? No, I mean our big news. Our female Greater One Horn Rhino, Tenzin, is pregnant. Yay! <laughs> Welcome back to DZTV. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Tenzing is our 11-year-old Greater One Horned Rhino. In September, we finally announced the news that Miss T is having a baby. And this pregnancy is a big deal. Not just because Tensing's calf will weigh a couple hundred pounds at birth. Greater One Horned Rhinos are a threatened species, and their numbers only recently started making a comeback in the wild. So before her calf arrives in the spring of 2020, we're gonna tell you the five things you should know about Tensing's pregnancy. Like we said, this is a big deal, not just for Denver Zoo, but for all Greater One Horned Rhinos. Greater One Horned Rhinos were once on the brink of extinction. Now there are nearly 3,500 in Nepal and India. And in AZA accredited zoos, that number is just under 100. Assistant Curator of Pachyderms, Lindsay Kirkman, tells us why every new Greater One Horned Rhino in human care matters for the long-term survival of this species. The animals that we have at Denver Zoo are really great ambassadors. We hear that word all the time, but it's true. They're great ambassadors. They let people know that these animals exist in the wild and that they are worth preserving and taking care of. Denver Zoo is home to two greater one-horned rhinos, our female Tensing and a male named Bandu. So you'd think Bandu would be the father of Tensing's baby. But according to Lindsay, he's not quite ready to sow his oats. Bandu and Tenzing were brought here at the Denver Zoo because they're a really good genetic match, but Bandu isn't mature yet. He's kind of like a teenager employee rhino years. He's still a little scared of her. So that means we turned to artificial insemination. Our animal science team, led by Dr. Annika Moresco, with assistance from Dr. Monica Stoops from the Center for Conservation and Research of Endangered Wildlife at Cincinnati Zoo, performed the AI in November 2018. It was a collaborative effort among three different zoos. The person doing the research and our main expert that we relied on was at the Cincinnati Zoo, but then she flew to Omaha where the boy was and she got the sperm there and she brought it so it was fresh chilled. It wasn't fresh fresh, but it was only a day old. Last year's AI procedure wasn't Tensing's first or her second or her third or her I think you get the picture. We tried this procedure 11 times with Tensing before it was successful. Just like human reproduction, sometimes it's tricky to find out exactly why an animal isn't conceiving. And so you can kind of modify things as you go, change things up for each and every procedure and get a little bit closer each time um, to getting that goal. Dr. Moresco and her team identified a few medical reasons that might have affected Tensing's ability to get pregnant. Not all follicles were ovulating, so she had what we call anovulatory follicles, and if she doesn't ovulate, obviously there's no egg to fertilize. The other one was that because on this go around she was trained for ultrasound, we were able to see that she had fluid in the uterus, which even if there is fertilization, it prevents implantation, so the baby can't grow. Lindsay and the entire rhino team worked with Tensing to make her more comfortable with the procedure and monitored her for behavioral changes while Dr. Moresco fine-tuned her protocols. And on November 11, 2018, they performed the artificial insemination procedure. And right after it was over, Lindsay had a feeling this was the one that would work. I am the most optimistic uh, that I have been in several procedures. I, I think this is the one. Tensing is receiving amazing maternal care as she prepares for the birth of her first calf, which all started the moment we confirmed she was pregnant. It was 23 days after the procedure that you could actually see a little fetus in their little embryo, and it was, it was very exciting. Now, every week, Dr. Moresco performs an ultrasound on Tensing to get a better look at her growing calf. Last but not least, the fifth thing you should know about this pregnancy is how excited we are here at Denver Zoo. This pregnancy was a team effort years in the making and represents the very best of what zoos are all about. When we finally found that she was pregnant, it was, it was a big day. And when you get to put your hand on her belly and actually see, hear, you know, feel that baby kick, 
it is one of the most moving and joyful moments. So I'm a big mush and I actually got tears. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> I feel grateful that my time on this earth got to cross paths with this species and I got to see this species. And I never take that for granted every day when I see them. It's like looking at a little piece of our Earth's history. We're still a ways out from welcoming our calf, so make sure you follow Denver Zoo on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all of your tensing pregnancy updates. And for more stories like this, make sure to subscribe to DZTV.